938 Ferrari team principal Maurizio Arrivalbine says the squad will tackle the remaining Grand Prix with even more determination after its latest setback in Japan last weekend. Ferrari trailed Mercedes by just 39 points heading into the summer break, with Sebastian Vettel holding a 14-point advantage in the driver's standings, having led a 12 in Hungary. However, Ferrari has not triumphed since, and suffered a spate of incidents and reliability issues across the trio of Asian flyaway events. A first lap collision accounted for both Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen in Singapore, while in Malaysia Vettel was unable to qualify, and Raikkonen unable to race, due to turbo problems. Vettel started from second position in Japan but a faulty spark plug robbed his SF70H of power, and he tumbled down the order, before retiring after a handful of laps. Raikkonen, meanwhile, took a low-key fifth, having been compromised by a so-so Q3 lap and a five-place grid penalty, sustained when his car required a new gearbox after he crashed in practice. As a result, Vettel is now 59 points behind Lewis Hamilton, with Ferrari 145 points adrift of Mercedes, its hopes in both championships now severely diminished. Arrival Bean, though, insists that Ferrari's resilience has been increased in the wake of the setbacks. Once again, despite our car clearly having great potential, things did not go to plan, he said. We spotted that something was not right with Vettel's car on the lap to the grid and we tried our best to fix the problem. Seb got a great start, but shortly afterwards we had to call him back to the garage prior to retiring the car. As I've said before, we know that the car, the drivers and the team are all on the pace. That is why we will tackle the coming races with great effort and even more determination, right up to the last corner of the last Grand Prix. Ferrari has never triumphed at the Circuit of the Americas, the current iteration of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez or the Yas Marina Circuit, the venues for three of the last four events. Latest news 1832 F1 1806 Formula One tire supplier Pirelli has revealed the driver's tire selections for the United States Grand Prix, with Mercedes F1 1632 Felipe Drugovich will contest this weekend's European Formula 3 finale at Hockenheim with Van Amersfoort Racing. Drugovich, F3 1536 McLaren Racing Director Eric Boulier says the outfit has emerged stronger from the recent flyaway events, despite missing out. F1 1413 A cookery book produced by Roman Grisjean and his wife, TV presenter Marion Giles Grisjean, is to be released at the end of F1 1318 Reigning World Champion Mark Marquez says he will give 100% at each of the remaining rounds in his quest to capture a Moto 1249 on his 94th birthday. Look back on the life and career of legendary motorsport commentator Murray Walker. In this documentary by F1 1202 Lewis Hamilton bagged his eighth victory of the season, as Sebastian Vettel's title hopes diminished it amid another Ferrari. F1 1132 Katsuyuki Nakasuga will make his traditional wildcard appearance with Yamaha at this weekend's Japanese Grand Prix. Nakasuga, Motip 1112 Watch as Ferrari chairman Sergio Marchionne opens the day's trading at the New York Stock Exchange, as part of the Marcus. F10938 Ferrari team principal Maurizio Arrivalbine says the squad will tackle the remaining Grand Prix with even more determination. F10812 Sergio Perez says he understands Force India's approach after he was denied the opportunity to race teammate Esteban Acon for F10536 McLaren highlights its partnership with Japanese machine tool builder Mozik, which has kept the team's wheels turning for 18. F11702 watches Sebastian Vettel's special helmet design for the Japanese Grand Prix is painted by Agnieszka Wienand of Jens Munzer. F11616 legendary announcer Michael Buffer is set to introduce drivers onto the grid at next weekend's United States Grand Prix. In a F11528 Lewis Hamilton strode into a 59-point lead with victory as the spark went out of the title battle following another Ferrari. F11424 McLaren Stoffel Van Dorn says a first lap clash with Ferrari rival Kimi Raikkonen scuppered his hopes of claiming a strong F1-1306 go on board with ex-Formula 1 driver Rio Harianto as he tests Formula E machinery at the Ricardo Tormo circuit in Valencia. Fay 1216 Felipe Massa says it is difficult to understand why Williams lacked race pace compared to its midfield rivals at the Japanese. F1-1142 Renault's Nico Hülkenberg reckons the issue with his drag reduction system DRS shortly after his pit stop cost him a point. F1-1022 Kevin Magnussen has heaped praise on Haas for getting everything right to turn midfield grid slots into a double points finish. F10912 Mercedes boss Toto Wolff labeled Lewis Hamilton's display at the Japanese Grand Prix as perfect, after the Briton moved 59.
F1082 for Esteban Akon hailed an awesome result for Force India at the Japanese Grand Prix, as he came home in sixth position, backed up. F10512 It's about overcoming your failures, it's about overcoming difficult times. Lewis Hamilton talks about one of the key. F10346 F11622 Ever wondered what happens to Formula One tires on a race weekend? Tom Briggs, McLaren support crew team leader, talks through a F11416 F21415 Russian Times Artem Marklov claimed victory in the Formula Two sprint race at Hareth, with high tire degradation levels leading F21301 F121251 Red Bull Motorsport consultant Helmut Marko has suggested that it would be better if Felipe Massa retires, after his actions. F1-1202 Daniel Ricciardo tries to speak Japanese during a visit to Formula One's official fan stage at Suzuka with Red Bull teammate. F1-1152 Arden's Nico Carey has been stripped of his podium finish at the second GP3 race of the weekend at Jerez after he was deemed. GP3-1133 Kimi Raikkonen says that Ferrari must understand why it is encountering reliability problems during crucial stages of a race. F1-1051 Mercedes Valtteri Bottas was left to narrowly missing out on a podium finish at the Japanese Grand Prix, as he came home. F1-1040 GP3-1039 Mercedes back George Russell clinched the GP3 title with a round to spare after taking fifth position in the second race of GP3-1038 McLaren driver Fernando Alonso has been reprimanded and handed penalty points for ignoring blue flags during the Japanese Grand F1-1004 Jolly and Palmer insists that he is happy to move on with his motorsport career after completing his final race for Renault at F10958 Carlos Sainz Jr. has apologized to Toro Rosso after retiring on the first lap of the Japanese Grand Prix, his final race with F10851 Red Bull's Daniel Ricciardo was pleased to complete his personal objective of securing his first Japanese Grand Prix, F1.